नेक्स्ट विल डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग अ गीगा बिट इथरनेट द मेन गोल्स ऑफ द गीगा बिट इथरनेट वेर टू अपग्रेड द डेटा रेट टू वन जी बी पी एस से फ्रॉम हंड्रेड एम बी पी एस टू अ वन जी बी पी एस अगेन द इशूज विल रिमेन ऑलमोस्ट सेम एज दैट ऑफ फास्ट इथरनेट दैट इज टू अचीव दिस डेटा रेट वाइल अचीविंग दिस डेटा रेट वी नीड टू कीप सटन थिंग्स इन द माइंड दैट से इट वॉन्ट्स टू कीप द एड्रेस लेंथ एज इट इज रादर दैन चेंजिंग से इन द एड्रेस लेंथ इन दिस इथरनेट इज से फोर्टी एट बाइट्स सो इट वॉन्ट्स टू कीप इट एज इट इज आई मीन फोर्टी एट बिट्स इट वॉन्ट्स टू कीप इट एज इट इज एंड द फ्रेम फॉर्मैट इट वॉन्ट टू रिटेन इट एज इट इज एंड मिनिमम and maximum um, maximum and a minimum frame length and uh, it wants to keep it same now to achieve these things so gigabit ethernet uh, ethernet has come with two distinctive approach approaches for the medium one is a half duplex a half duplex mode approach another is full duplex mode approach in full duplex mode there will be a some central switch okay so we talk of using a link layer device that is central switch which is an intelligent device so which is used to connect a different hosts now in this mode each input port has a buffer in which that data will be stored until they, that is that is transmitted to a next interface so here the data that is transmitted to a one interface will not going to be say made available on all the ports the data transmitted to a some specific port will be directed to a specific outgoing port it will not be sent arbitrarily to all ports since the switch uses the destination address this is possible we can send it to a specific port only this means that we do uh, that csma cd is not needed in this type of approach mainly because there is lack of say collision and when it we say that lack of collision again the maximum length of the cable basically it will going to be decided by signal attenuation rather than that collision domain or a collision detection process the second approach is a half duplex approach so that is half duplex approach in this case we use say hubs instead of a switch so this hub here it acts like a common cable so when we say a common cable which means that there is a possibility of collision so to deal with this collision this approach uses a csma cd one more point i wanted to tell here is that half duplex approach is rarely used when it comes to a gigabit ethernets this is one of the option that is available but it is very rarely used most of the times it is preferred to be used a full duplex mode which is created with the help of switch so the next thing is uh, that uh, the carrier extension so in a fast ethernet that carrier ex uh, extension say is mainly because for longer networks so for that we increase the maximum frame length 
and uh, the minimum length of the frame should be equal to 512 bytes that means that uh, the maximum length should be eight times longer this method forces the stations to add certain extension bits to the frames which are say less than 4096 say uh, bits 4096 bits in this way that uh, maximum length of the network can be increased eight times to the length of 200 meters this allows the length up to 100 meters from the hub to a station one more uh, speciality of this gigabit ethernet is frame bursting so this carrier extension is very inefficient if we use a series of short frames to send so each frame carries that some redundant data which we call it as a control information along with some error detection bits and all so because of that that overall redundancy will be increases mainly because of going for a say a series of short frames are required to be sent to improve this efficiency that frame busting idea has been proposed instead of adding uh, extensions to each frame multiple frames are sent simultaneously but however to make a multiple frames to look like same uh, say one frame padding is added between the frames so these are the two different approaches that what we use in a gigabit ethernet like fast ethernet gigabit ethernet also demands certain changes to a say physical layer okay so the main change what it demands is that topology okay so gigabit ethernet is designed to connect a two or more stations if there are only two stations they can be connected in a point to point mode when there are three or more stations to be connected okay either we can create a star topology with a hub or a switch say another possible configuration here is to connect several several star topologies or let one star topology be a part of another now when it comes to uh, encoding like fast ethernet it too has suggested a certain changes so it uses a two encoding techniques when it comes to thousand base sx and thousand base lx and thousand base cx in these three cases so when we say uh, thousand base sx that is by fiber okay uh, which we call it as a short wave fibers it can support up to a length of 550 meters and it uses two wires okay so it uses a two encoding schemes and a two wires the encoding schemes are 8b 10b which is shown over here okay so and nrz encoding these are the two different encoding schemes you will find with these three different arrangements okay so in these cases this is this uses a fiber this uses a fiber whereas this cx uses say shielded twisted pair cables so all of them they use two cables so their cable will going to have a two wires you can say this is what is the encoding scheme 
and when we talk of 8b 10b for every 8 bits will be going to be encoded as 10 bits so this means it will increase in a, say redundancy by 25 percent so that is the reason to transmit 1 gigabits of data it will generate a 1.25 gigabits of data because of the redundancy so apart from this we have a one more option of gigabit ethernet that is thousand base t in this case uh, it uses untwisted pair cables and the maximum length it supports is 100 meters so and it needs a four wire support it uses that uh, 4d pam5 encoder two such encoders will be used so this is a this type of a scheme is based on the cables what we use okay so previously we have shown that it was using say fiber optics and shielded twisted pair cables with two wires because of that it was using these encoding schemes and since here it uses four wires the encoding scheme is entirely different so this is how the gigabit achieves that uh, required rate and gigabit approach is summarized over here so 1000 base sx uses a fiber shortwave up to 550 meters and two wires encoding scheme is used is 8b10b plus nrz scheme whereas lx also uses a fiber which we call them as a long waves and it supports up to 500 meters 500 meter maximum distance and this two uses a two wires encoding scheme remains same as that of previous one and 1000 base cx it uses a shielded twisted pair two wires but whereas the length it supports is 25 meters okay encoding scheme remains same and the last one is 1000 base t4 which uses untwisted pair cables distance it supports is 100 meters and the wires it uses is 4 and the encoding scheme used is 4d pam5 so this is all about the uh, gigabit ethernet next in the series is 10 gigabit ethernet in the recent years 10 gigabit ethernet say is very widely used and uh, this idea of 10 gigabit ethernet allows the ethernet lands to extend say the distance co uh, that coverage distance so that ethernet can be uh, used as lan as well as man metropolitan area network so when we look at the implementation things uh, this two uses uh, this comes with 10 bit gig, uh, 10 gigabit ethernet is implemented using fiber optic cables only okay so like uh, 1 gigabit ethernet the fiber optics what what all it uses is say we we call them as 10g base 10g base sr and next one is 10g base lr that is long range short range and the cables what they use is two this uses two cables this uses two cables and because of which the distance is okay are slightly different since it it uses long waves so this uses a short wave the distance is distance covered is short, small 
it is 300 meters whereas here it is say 10 kilometers it will be in the range of 10 kilometers so this arrangement makes it to be suitable for metropolitan area network so you, if you have uh, this type of arrangement you can extend your line up to 10 kilometers which allows it to behave like a metropolitan area network next is uh, 10 base 10 base say ew 10 base ew it supports a distance up to cable length maximum cable length is 135 uh, say sorry 40 kilometers 40 kilometers and uh, it also uses a two wires it uses a sonet technology a sonet encoding scheme next is the last one is 10 base x4 so this also uses a fiber cable and it uses two wires it can be used up to 300 meters to say 10 kilometers okay so these are the highlights of 10 gigabit ethernet so this is all about say different ethernets we'll see a wireless lan in the next video thank you very much i will end the session over here